So these are the cups, and these are the 4009s, which are the half the half cups, basically, right? They go in the sportsman. In the sportsman for you. And you dump them in a cup of water in there. Fill your water up. And then you don't want too much water in there, so you use your, your fist. Huh? Fist is a, my measuring method. But roughly, that's about an inch from the top, right? I yes. Mean, roughly. It's actually more important to have an airspace than have too much water on there. Gotcha. And then, and we have the stones. No kind of stones. These are the, the ammonia chips. chips. They yeah. come in all white and dirty. I wash them when I sell them, so then they look like this. Gotcha. And then I also sell it with bait saver added to it. So you add the bait saver with the ammonia chips, right? Yes, when I sell it uh, there for you. For here, I just had the, the chips here, and then I'll add the bait saver myself. Gotcha. You just kind of measure that out. And that's just just about what maybe a bottle cap full of yes about chips. and again you won't get too much of it in it just helps add the life and absorb the ammonia okay now what what kind of lifespan would that help the fish the minnows in the thing it maybe. gives me about it gives me a good week and then I can even get when I don't get there right away it sometimes even two weeks gotcha depends okay. on the health of the minnows as well of course yeah and, and this, then, this this is your bait saver. Bait saver. And then I just put a a dash in each cup just to kind of give it just a little bit. And you'll find that the stones absorb it in time, which is all right. Okay. And then and then you're ready. Ready to, to pack your minnows. Pack the minnows, which we don't have any minnows ready, but we will. <laughs> Actually, here's what they look like here. Okay. Now these are what considered what the small. Yeah, these are uh, our trout minnows. Trout minnows. Okay. And, and the key is healthy, good minnows, right? The key is healthy, good minnows. And then again, you want to make sure you have a gap. If you have water all the way to the top, you put this on. You tend to just, and you'll know within the first hour, you'll actually just kill the whole cup. Gotcha. You just want to have that airspace. Okay. Now let's talk about the lid a little bit. So you get the lid. The lid comes without a hole in it. So the lid comes like this. Okay, so there is no hole in this one. This is how it comes right there. And then we take a sharp, uh, we have a poker that we ground down and we take the poker from the inside. You'll see a three and a half inch on yeah, the back there. Up there. There's, yeah, there's a three and a half inch on the top of the inside of the lid and you want to put the, the hole right above the half mark, right? That's correct. That way when you have it, you can write on the label if you need to. And I suggest writing on the label before you uh, put the lids on just because <laughs> You don't want the marker getting all wet, so gotcha. uh, you can label if you're going to do rosy reds or large fat heads or the medium. You can label your minnows okay. on there, and right. then you just put that on, just put the bottom on there, bottom and then push up, and then the air comes out the top. Air comes out the hole, and then you can set this into your sportsman, and then that'll just slide right on through for you. Gotcha. Now we can get these uh, products at Kurtz. Kurtz Live Bait Vending. Dot com. Yep, dot com. Yep. Right. Give me a call. My number's on there, and uh, we can always ship them out. I have them in cases of 50 or a large box such as this. Okay. Also, which is 340 cups there. 340 cups in the big case, and so then you can do 50s or or 100s or, or yes. Or okay. And this is Matt Kurtz, and yeah, that's how we do minnows in the uh, the cups in the 24-hour Live Bait Tackle Vending Machine. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.